You know what, Father's Day is just under two weeks away. We have one great dad here who wrote a new book called Parking Lot Rules and 75 Other Ideas for Raising Amazing Children. The author Tom Sturgis grew up without a father figure himself since the age of three and now is a parent of two teenage kids and a newborn. He put together these tips based on his own experiences. And Tom, I gotta say, you say in an article I read of yours, it's harder to get a driver's license than to become a parent. <laughs> it is, and it's... Uh, and it's kind of strange, Certainly, huh? you need a book for one and not as much for the other. So, so what are these parking lot rules? I like the name, it's catchy, but you mean something here. What do you mean? The, the parking lot rules grow out of my wish to be the greatest dad ever. From the moment I looked my son in the eye, mm. my, the inspiration was, I, I don't want to just watch your life as it goes by along with me. I want to be the John Wooden of dads. I want to be... <laughs> I want people talking about me, and the only person whose opinion I care about is his. Mm. If he doesn't think I'm the greatest dad, then it doesn't matter. Mm. Like you made that. four life promises I'm reading here. Never hit him, never yell at him, never scare him. I love the last one. What was the last one? Uh, no embarrassing. This really? is the no embarrassing. I made him a, a promise that whenever we were around anybody, girls, boys, anybody in his life, I would never do anything that would embarrass him. Well, that kind we of strips that. you of all your tools. No, no yelling, no embarrassing, no uh, scaring them. Woody, what's left? You can do that inadvertently without meaning to embarrass right. somebody. You can, can't you? I well, mean... I was playing basketball with my 11-year-old uh, Sam the other day, and I had to change my shirt at the uh, at the uh, when we're at uh -oh, the playground. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's like, Dad, Dad, yeah. you're yeah. breaking Ooh. the no uh, embarrassing yeah. rule, please. Yeah. So I had to, and I said, Well, just all for right. a second, let me just change, and I'll stop. We'll stop. Like with every that. good dad, your rule rules have sports themes. Tell us about the ESPN rule. <laughs> the, uh, one of the nice things about ESPN is they get it right. They don't just tell you the score of the game, they mm -hmm. tell you the story of the game and you sort of get to relive it in miniature. And when you're telling, uh, talking to your child or the rest of the family about some great accomplishment of your child, whether it's athletic or musical or giving a good speech, don't just say what happened. Do the whole, tell the whole story and I let like them that. relive their greatness even if it's just for 15 or 20 seconds. Speaking of greatness, Bill Walton, you've got a Bill Walton rule. Bill Walton said something, I was watching a TV, uh, basketball on TV, and Allen Iverson was uh, on the bench. Along, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Bill Walton said, to all you kids out there, let me just tell you something, if you can't be on time, be early. Those guys were late and they can't play. Mm -hmm. I said to Sam, I think that would work for us. Yeah. Why don't we try that? Yeah. And ever since, I mean, I was here this morning at 4.30. So. You were prompt. <laughs> you <laughs> were early, I should say. Um, you have the John Elway rule. Now, for people that weren't Denver Broncos fans, this could be a tough one, but mm. what's your John it's, Elway rule? It's more the symbolism. Uh, I lost my son in a, uh, a Las Vegas hotel, oh, checking goodness. in, wife, grandparents. Oh, and I look up, and there's Thomas way over there walking into an open elevator. <gasps> the door is closed, and he just disappears. Oh. And you, you don't know panic until you're yeah. not with that child you're supposed to be looking after. So three minutes go by, like three years, and doors open, and out he walks. And I invented that rule so that I would never have that happen again. And the rule is that you dress your child in the jersey of your favorite NFL player whenever you're going anywhere where he could get lost. Ball game, park, mm. airport. Pick him out of a crowd. It's the first thing that somebody will ask you when your child gets lost <laughs> is, what is he wearing? Is he wearing? Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, was it the pink with the little rabbits, honey? <laughs> what did... No, he's wearing the John Elway uniform with the That's big orange seven. That's actually a really good idea for that. That's yeah. actually a very yeah. good idea. Communicating is uh, very important. Uh, you say uh, avoid yelling and calm... Calm tones inspire, so when you get upset, whisper instead. If you, uh, if you say to your child, uh, if they get used to the presence of yelling in their life, they will get used to the presence of adrenaline and a quick response and everything else. Um, so what I recommend that you do with your child is if you're upset at all, you whisper. And it makes, uh, it makes a, a, a much greater impact. The other day I was going into the house and everybody was sleeping. I was going, hey, Sam. Sam, are you there? And he comes out of his room, he says, Dad, what are you getting so upset about? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's funny. funny. I said, no, I'm not that I, kind of whisper. Kind of just <laughs> whisper. I'm actually whispering. You know what? I is there a difference, though, between the way you, and you do a lot of sports references and that kind of stuff with boys and girls? Because you're all boys, right? I or, have uh, three boys. Yeah. Would, would you do it differently with girls? Or the girls will go, John Elway, what? Who? <laughs> the basis of my book and all my work mm. with children is that you show them complete respect. And I think that starts irrespective of gender, 
age, religion, culture, respect as the first interaction between parent and child. Tom Sturgis is a great guy. He's got a lot of things, a movie, the book, which is called Parking Lot Rules, 75 Other Ideas for Raising Amazing Children. You can find out more about him on our website. We really appreciate thank your time. Thank you so much for letting me join you. Thank you, thank you so much. Happy thank Father's you. Day. Okay. All right, when you are packing for your summer vacation, there are certainly a few items you shouldn't leave out, right? Like the underwear, the toothpaste, the toothbrush. Hello. What else? But you know who we can't live without on our vacation oh, is Stacy Cox. What is she doing? Is that a toilet paper thingy? Oh, she is not putting that on her face. Yeah, it is. Oh, we'll be right back. Such a nut. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she's